Hi guys, my name is Natasha and this is my channel so I will be doing my normal, my normal intro So today I'll be talking about my skincare, you guys can see I already did it already I got the little pink dots all over my face for my pimples And so this is be talking about my daily skincare, what I usually do and what I use and how I use products and how I wipe them all off and how, well, mainly, basic, basically how I clean my face you guys on a daily basis and what I use to remove my makeup but I didn't have makeup on this time so you guys can see how I remove my makeup give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I can get that video out as soon as I can so to all my loyal subscribers thank you very much for sticking with me so much I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart okay so all my newbies thank you guys for clicking onto my channel and just viewing my videos I really do appreciate that you guys like all my little subscribers been having with me you guys you guys I really appreciate you appreciate you guys I like the comments you guys leave me down in the comments I do reply back and what else is that's about it don't forget to subscribe share and thumbs up this video and I got more videos coming up soon and I do have another video that's already up so I'll link that one down in the bottom bar you guys can see that and right there in the description you guys can see that video and other extra videos you guys could just watch in the, on the process after you guys watching that one so I do location videos and then now that, uh, that one's already up so get it if you guys live in the alley area let me know just drop the area you want me to go film it and I said we head up that way so that's about it you guys so it's mainly just the products that I use on a daily basis to wash my face and hands and how I protect and moisturize it and that's about it you guys so um, that's about it to see you guys so and I'll see you guys next time bye Hey guys, today we'll be talking about a whole new video. So today I'm going to show you guys like, how I usually clean my face and what I usually do in the um, moisturizing and taking care of my face and besides my acne, I get pimples once in a while. So these are the products I use. I've been loving most of it because it's been, it worked for me, so I'm going to work for you. So the first product I use is my Tarte Friction Stick. I use this one, you guys. I use this one for the for everything I love it so much and I'm sorry guys that's kind of grungy but it's just a little twist off little stick and it's like bad so, so the next product I use on my face but I'll show you guys how I put everything and how everything sets and how make my face feel next thing I use is this Garnier Garnier skin active new look plus clean it's a pore profiling pore profiling two in one clay clay and mask clay cleaner and slash mask so it was to help you um, detoxify for the mask you can use a daily cleaner make you feel fresh and clean and for a mask it'll detox detox room is a detox mask and it cleans deep cleans impurities removed from the skin and have a glow on your face have a glow on your face and then for the for daily directions you use this on your face all over the area rinse well since rinse wet hands and face massage kind of into skin avoiding the eye area and rinse clean with, with water now for detox you wet your hands and your face you spread over a thin layer of the product and into the skin avoiding the eye area once again let it sit for five minutes and then you rinse off with water and use it just two times a week with this product i love this product so much it's just as a charcoal and that's how it looks sorry it looks really too these are my daily, my daily things and then to more purify my face I use this Basca and it's exfoliating pill gel this one is it's a lightweight peeling gel that works as a physical pill and chemical pill and treated for firming and brightening up skin for a healthy complexion you use on clean and dry skin gently massage into face in circular motion Gently exfoliate, rinse clean with water, and follow with the moisturizer. And this is for extreme use only. So it's, I really had maybe about I'm gonna say about maybe about six months, and I'm barely that much because a little bit does go along with this product. I like using sometimes maybe two pumps and go like spots and start cleaning up. And then for moisturizers, I use my my first aid fab cream intense hydrating for dry patches i don't have dry patches but i do have oily skin then i use this one for prevent and it's a balance balancing moisturizer hydrating fine lines prevention perfected perfection for under eye makeup for normal dry sensitive skin once again i do not have dry or sensitive or normal skin i have oily skin you can tell now i am clearly oily and this is from pearless 
right here. And then another thing I use for moisturizer, I like it to use it just for on a daily basis. I've been uses I usually use this uh, under my makeup. I use a Too Faced Hangover FX uh, RX and a Prim Machine Face Primer. So I like using it as a primer and as a moisturizer because it makes my skin feel a little bit more nicer. And then what I usually use when I have my face all beaded up and after I'm all done by the end of the night when I'm taking everything all off, I use these two products right here. And it's the Garnier. I feel like it's a nice accessory, guys. So I'm sorry, guys, they're kind of grungy. It's Garnier Clean Plus Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser. It dissolves even waterproof mascara and gently claims to comfort skin. This is for sensitive skin, but you know what? I don't have sensitive skin. It's me around my eyes. Why are very sensitive around the eyes? So I usually do this, and it does take off everything, you guys. I'm really in love with this one. It cleans and it, like it makes my skin feel more better. It's a little bit more moisturizing. So I use this around my face, and then I use it with some package of Huggies. I'm not using paper towel or cotton, or no cotton ring circle thingy. But you like mixing these two together, and it does does the work for it. You guys can see I did have some leftover. Um, what do you call that? Lash gel thingy. Um, the glue for the lashes. So I have some like, discharge leftover. I just use Huggies the night before. And it didn't really take all of it. I took all of it off, but I didn't take off the gel off my eyes. The gel means the, the eyelash glue. And then I like using two mainly a lot is my Neutrogena wipes. I use these ones a lot. I, I use all the colors. And this one is for calming nights to calm, relax my face. The calming nights. So I like using these ones too. But I'm almost. I'm already halfway, but it helps my face feel a little bit more better in the nighttime after I have my face all day with the makeup. And I usually use these to use it. It depends how I am, what I want to use. And then I've been, that's about it. So I got some other two products I want to try. I want to bring them up before I show you how I do and cake my face. These two products I did find. I'm sorry, this one is kind of beat up. And this one's called, called G Sand. It's a dream white, so this is an anti-aging soap. So it's supposed to make your skin a little bit. It has a shampoo. It's a soap that would use the youthful uh, rejuvenation and purifies collagen and externally plus and skin lining effect. And it's a moisturizer and it's whitening and it leaves your skin feeling revitalized, refreshed, and youthful. And you post a bathe in warmth and softness and vanilla scent so you use this daily on your face and body so i haven't tried i want to try it but i'm kind of worried i never tried nothing that a brand i never heard of or used before this is how it looks i think it looks so pretty with a little thingy but i think just want the vanilla scent out of it so that's how it is i want to try this maybe about a month you guys so from this video from a month when this video goes up by a month so i'm gonna try try to work with this one see how it makes my skin and my face feel and i did get the lotion it looked like crap and it's that the same thing i use it on this is wash face before i prime i use a soap and then i use a gen generous amount of this cream using your fingertips forehead around the eyes and the nose and the cheeks and it's a white face cream morning and night before bedtime regular. So I haven't opened this one. I'm gonna open now for you guys. You guys can see how the packaging looks like. And this is how the packaging looks like. like that it has like a gauge, it's a gauge on the front of it. And it's a white cream. Let's really open this. But it looks kind of weird but that's how it is so i'm gonna give these two about a month to when this video goes up i'm gonna try them out so you guys can know how i really feel and how much my face feel so it's gonna be like a month trying these two products out so i'm gonna keep these ones out and leave it in my medicine medicine cabinet so i can see these bad boys every single day and try them out and that's about it i'm gonna do so i'm gonna show you what i do and i use excuse my ride but I use this rag to clean my face and wet it. So I'm just gonna just cut my face down because this is already wet and 
I did that to it. So what I'm gonna be using first, I gotta take my ring off first. I'm gonna be using Alright, I'm gonna be using my friction stick. I'll be using this. So I'm gonna be using I'm gonna look at that mirror right here. So I'll be put on like this. I like to leave it on for just maybe about a minute or two. So that I could get a good um combination. And I'll show you guys what I use after for my 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 pimples because we're staying home today and I'm going out. The kids want to park with grandma, so so I'm going to be using this, this other right here like this. So I'll look kind of weird at the moment or so. So I'm, I started liking this a lot. I've been trying this one out so much and I've been loving it. So I'm going to show you what else I use. I got from the Dollar Tree. And this cute little thingy. So let's get this and with this off too. So I like using this um, with this too. I think it's a little bit wet. So since it already has like little it's exfoliating beads. This one helps a uh, twist base stick onto onto a function gel appears. Uh, and then it says uh, apply directly on damp skin and forehead, nose, cheeks, chin using your fingertips gently, massage it all over your face, and then rinse through thoroughly. So I like using this to exfoliate a little bit more. I don't know if you guys want to use it right here. So it, it hurts a little bit more. But I am using this. I like it a little bit more. It gets a little bit more deeper into the pores. To me, I feel like that. So I do have wide open pores at this section of my face. And then around my nose. Uh, open pores. And this one, my, my things I really fill in my sink with water. So I'm going again. But it does. The little pores does hurt a little bit more. Yeah, I already recording. Yeah. So. Just clean up my face. Move my hair is all the way. And the hair is bad in the way. So we'll just clean this up. And my brush will look kind of burnt because it's black. So we'll just go like this and I get the hair in my face. So we'll go like that. I have some glue from the mask. Right, eyeliner again, once again, eyelash glue on the face. This is the problem that I have. Alright, so you see my face a little bit red and tense because I literally use that. So I'm gonna go in with my wet cloth and just go in. Alright, I think for me, like this with a wet cloth, it feels a little bit more better. And then splashing water because I feel like. I'm removing all the product plus I am rubbing whatever product that's in there. Out. Let me go close my eye real quick so I won't get no product into my eyeball. So I'm just using that and then I'll just go up with the swipe. Door. So I'm using this rag a lot. I use this rag often and a lot. So I'm just gonna rinse, rinse, rinse this off, and so I'm gonna do that. Then I'll be using this cold thing. So I'm gonna use it as a mask for five minutes, you guys. So I will disappear from the camera for five minutes. But I'll be using this horrifying two-in-one clay mask. Now my husband likes this on his face, so I got to use some product. So I'm gonna use it on maybe about they say a good generous then let lather, but I think that for me I thicker the better so I'll be using oh, 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 hair, hair, hair. so I'll be using this and then, then you spread it all around my nose so that's a problem early and so I clean out everything off my face so I look kind of charcoal -y gray you can see the imperfection on my face for a little bit so now it goes a little bit more thinner up on the top Gonna make it a little bit more on the forehead. I like packing a little bit more on the forehead everywhere else. It's a thin layer. And this one smells like um like a mint. To me it's like a mint smell. So we're using this like this. 
like that. But right now, so I'm gonna leave this on for five minutes and I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my face and remove everything all off my face. And I'll be back in five minutes, you guys. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. My son did his little tantrum. So I'm gonna go in with the thing and then exfoliate my face. So I'm gonna do a thing so you can come cry too. So I'm just gonna exfoliate everything. You guys can see. And the more higher I get, I like the darkening off my face. And the ugly, I think the nasty dead skin off my face. You guys can see that. Look at that guy. Oh my god. Can you exfoliating? I'm doing everything that I'm doing to my face. It's kind of gross. Knowing this is like. That's disgusting. That's like nasty skin right there on my nose, literally. So I'm gonna go in with my rag. Nah. Wipe it all off. Oh, my son is literally tagging on the wall. But, I'm gonna wash it with my I'll wash it with my So I'm gonna just wipe all the skin off. I double slap it on the skin. Double slap that. <laughs> double fold it on her. So I can come a little bit more better. See, like, guys, okay, so my face is literally clean. It feels a lot more better removing all the skin. But one thing about it, sometimes the skin lingers on, even if I splash the water on my face. You guys, look at this. It's like literally still skin. Oh, my hand probably just walked this in the way. This is all skin nasty dry crusty skin that stays on my face this is what i usually do on a daily basis on my face but not the bodesca i use it at least twice or three times a week it depends or if not go a whole month without it and clean my face and this literally cleans the holy hell out of my face you guys this literally cleans out everything so i'm gonna just let the face again air dry again because to me i feel like air dry is a little more better Wait, right here. It gets a little bit more better. Um, I think for me, it better. I'm still not the nasty crap on my face. So, this I'm gonna rinse, rinse this off right after, and then I'm gonna throw it up in the washer. But mentally, he will say, like, this way. I think I'll use it as nasty skin. Sorry, not here, but this one come, came off my face, you guys. That was on the tip on my nose. Isn't that disgusting? So that goes in the trash. So now I'm gonna let him air dry. Let my smart real quick and let him air dry, and then so that it could like dry up. So laundry day is tomorrow, so he'll get washed. So I'm sorry, just open my earrings and not over it today. So now I'm gonna just let this air dry, and I'll put all the moisturizer. I'm gonna pop my nose ring back on, you guys. I hope they don't bruise you out if I put it back in. But I had this nose ring for really for 20 years, and my son's asking for balls. And that's my nose ring pop right back in. It doesn't really hurt. So when I first did put it in, I had a couple of days missing with that, and it did hurt because it's a 20 gauge, and it did hurt. So. So now my face is all air dry now. So now we're using the creams I use to use. And what I treat, what I treat my pimples with is more Bodesco. Bodesca. How you guys pronounce it? I use this one. The other one I have, he's like real low on liquid and a lot of the pink stuff. And he looks ugly. So I'm going to use this bad boy for today. And then I'm going to put the moisturizer. I'm not going to put this one on today. Sorry, it looks kind of crunchy. I'm not going to use him. But I'm going to use the other two on my face. My face really feels kind of dry. Really feeling a little bit more tight. So I'm going to be using this for my eyebrows. I like using this Bravo Conditioning Primer. I like using it just as, as is. I just like do two clips. And I like using it on my eyebrows. So it gets a little bit more comfort on my eyebrows. So I can know what's going on with them. And I like a little bit behind on my eyebrows because it gets a little bit more moisture. These are my these are my eyebrow hair, so I'm gonna get these bad boys nice. I like using two clips on it to get enough product on there. 
like I don't even have my eyebrows anyway, so I like to put a little bit of on my eyebrows and let when that dries, I go in with the moisturizer in too, you guys. So I'm using the first the Too Faced RX. I already do the thing enrichment on my skin. So that's about it. I mean, you do these days on my mask, okay? So I'm gonna be using this one now. Be patient, and it is with the coconut water, bio ingredient, um, propen based ingredients, and skin reviver. What? Wait. So I'm be using this on my face. That's about it, you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, you guys.